What is up guys? CodeBro29 is back with a brand new video. Um, I hope you're excited for this part because we are doing part 5 to our beginner scripting series. Um, I believe it is four, four loops on the agenda, so yeah, we're going to get right on to four loops. Please subscribe though because uh, lots of you guys aren't subscribed yet. According to YouTube, like almost 90% of you guys aren't subscribed that are watching my channel, so please make sure to hit that subscribe button because it really helps me out for future videos and it helps me to know that you like the content I'm releasing so do make sure to hit that subscribe button because yeah it just it helps me out as a youtuber and it helps me to know that you like what I'm doing alright so now that that's been said uh, let's go ahead and dive right into four statement uh, four loops so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and insert another script into server script service and I'm just gonna call this for loop loops okay i'm gonna disable all these I, don't worry about this this is just for the tutorial if you would like to disable all of your previous scripts you just click the script and click disable that just make makes it so that whatever's inside of these scripts won't do anything anymore until they until you uncheck that just so that it's so clean because there's been so much happening in the output recently uh when we uh play the game just so that you guys can see better all right so uh, let's get let's get right into uh, for loops. For loops are something called a count based loop. So what's a loop? That's a great question. A loop is something that happens a multiple uh, multiple amount of times, and because it's a count based loop, this basically means that it's going to happen a certain number of times. The count means number, right? It's going to happen a certain number of times. So. With that said, let's go ahead and create a for loop. So I'm going to go ahead and just say, whoa. I'm going to just wait one because um, I'm going to have it wait a second before it does the for loop. You do not have to do this. But how do you write out a for loop? So there are a couple different for loops. There's a count... Uh, count for i equals one loop and a four uh, in pairs. I believe we're gonna hit on both of those today though. So this might be a longer video. All right, so we're just gonna say for i equals, whoops, equals one comma 10 comma one do. And we can just say print i. Wow, what just happened there? <laughs> so if you're thinking that, that is totally fine. Uh, for loops are a little bit confusing. I notice that they confuse me. I even have to look back at for loops and make sure I'm doing them right. But basically we're saying um, this new, this is a variable, okay? I is now a variable, okay? We're saying I is equal to one when we start, okay? I is equal to one. And then this last number is saying we're gonna add one to I every time we come back around. So this loops through 10 times. I know that's confusing, uh, but you'll get it eventually. So i is the variable. It's equal to 1. Let's go over it one more time. It's starting off as 1. We're going to print i, so that's going to be 1. It's going to come back around because we are looping. It's going to, And then it's going to add 1 every time it loops around. And once i is equal to 10, then we're going to stop, okay? And we this is just a way of saying once we've looped through 10 times, and we can just say print, uh, we have finished looping. All right, so let's go ahead and head into our game and I'm gonna push play. You can play it or run it. I'll show you how to run it in a second. Um, but in the output, watch this. This is gonna be cool, guys. I hope you guys think this is gonna be cool. Watch this, watch this. Look, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We have finished looping. Like I said, we are looping through 10 times. We're starting out with i is 1, and we're adding 1 to i every time, and we're printing out i. So i starts out as 1, we're going to loop again. It's now 2. We're going to loop again. 3. Okay? I completely messed that up. I apologize, guys. Um, it's not looping through. So let me explain this a better way. It's not really looping through 10 times. Okay, it's looping through until i is equal to 10. I hope that makes sense. So, it's saying that we're going to stop looping when i is equal to 10. Okay? So, we can do tons of things with this. We are going to want to keep it as for i equals t uh, 1, 10, 1, do. But we can do something else in our for loop. We're, let's, um, let's call a function every time we loop through, okay? So, I'm going to... Uh, bring up a function. I'm going to say function. Whoa. What is happening? 
What has happened? Function hello? Wow. The color is so weird right now. So I'm not exactly sure what's happening right now. My uh, studio is glitching, so I'm actually not gonna do a function you can do. Actually, I'll do it, but this is gonna be weird. My function's turning black right now. I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, yeah, so if you know what's going on, uh, yeah, you can go ahead and post that in my Roblox group. I'm a little confused with that. Uh, but I'm just gonna say function uh, what number, and then I'm gonna say i right here, and I'm gonna say just print i. So we have a new parameter. Remember parameters? We're passing through a variable called i, so we can just pa uh, call what number right here, and I'm just gonna call through i. So we're just saying, we're gonna pass through our i right here, okay? And we can actually just change this to say number, and this to say number, okay? So i is our number, which will be one at first, then two, then three, then four. So it still will print the same exact thing. So there's no need to have this function right here. We just really want would want to uh, print i if we're gonna do that. But let's get into something more exciting. Let's just say um, we're gonna loop through 10 times and we're gonna say if i plus i is equal to 10, then, so, I is always going to be the same number. So what plus what that's the same number is equal to 10? Well, the only answer is 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. Um, so when I becomes 5 is when it's going to print I. Okay, so we can do some math here, which is really cool. Um, let's go ahead and play it because we should see in the output we that we have 5. See? Because 5 plus 5 is equal to 10, and it is still looping through ten, uh, until i becomes 10. It's just that we um, are asking when i plus i is equal to 10, then we're going to print i. I know that's confusing, but that's for loops for you. And then you can, uh, this is basically... I would always, for now, just put one and one here, and then this is however many times you want it to loop through, okay? Let's do one more type of loop, okay? So, this is a fun loop. This is called an in-pairs loop, and an in-pairs loop is something I use all the time. So, it's really helpful that you're learning this now. So, what is an in-pairs loop? So, it's, it's the same exact thing. We're going to be looping through again, but we're looping through in a different way. Okay, so let me explain what I mean. We can say uh, local players equals game dot players colon get players. What is happening with my color? All right, I don't know what's happening with this, but uh, something's really weird right now. So uh, yeah, but basically this is saying the players is game right our game dot players so we're going into players now right here we can see the players spot colon get players so this is just a way for the script to say all of the players in the game that game dot players dot get play uh, colon get players is a way for you to say all of the players in the game so now we're going to say for i comma v in pairs players do drop a line what in the world just happened there? You probably are thinking, and I don't blame me if you are because that's this is a tough part right here to understand. Basically, we're just <clears throat> we're creating another loop, right? But this is gonna loop through the, all of the players, and when it's done looping through all the players, we're just gonna stop looping. Okay? So we're just gonna say, uh, and then how do you um, how do you find the player? It's not by typing player. No, 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 no. It's by typing V. Okay? But, I mean, you could change this V to player. And now you can type player. And that's referencing the player that it's looping through first. But I always say V. But for the purpose of this video, we can say player. So for I comma player. And then we can just say print. Uh player.name. So we haven't really gotten into attributes yet and properties and stuff. Uh, so if this is if this is a little over your head, don't worry about it because uh, we'll get into that later on. But this is a property called name. And we're just going to be saying, okay, 
um, the player's name. We're saying print the player's name. We're going to loop through every player in the game, and we're going to print their name. And that's their username. Don't worry, not their real-life name. I hope Roblox isn't that advanced to know everybody's real-life name. That'd be scary. Um, but, yeah, so hopefully... Yep, it, it already looped through all the players in the game because I'm the only one in the game, and it printed my username. Perfect. So those are four, four loops, and I know that they can be confusing, and I know that my screen is kind of hard to see with the weird... Um, colors right now. I actually don't know what's happening. Um, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please uh, make sure to subscribe, like I said. But keep playing around with for loops because you can do variables in here, right? Um, like I said, we can have for i equals 1, comma 10, comma 1, do. So we're going to loop through 10 times and we can just say print and then we can have a local hamburger equals hamburger and then we can print hamburger if you haven't been able to tell through my past videos yeah i mentioned food a lot i apologize for that all right so yeah we can print hamburger 10 times because it's going to do whatever's in here 10 times it's going to loop through 10 times because we're saying until i is equal to 10 uh, and it's increasing by one every time. So I hope that made sense. It, it's, it is a confusing topic. So don't worry if it doesn't make sense. I'm also going to go ahead and enable all these scripts now. So now they all work again. But yeah, for loops, like I said, they're confusing. If you don't get them, don't worry about it. It's, it's hard. Um, but I hope you did enjoy this episode. And if you did, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me out uh, in the long run. I know that we are gaining subscribers um, like crazy. So thank you guys so much for that. I'm planning to do more live streams on my channel. So make sure to check into the channel. Um, I usually post either a community post or a video saying we're going to do a live stream and when. Uh, because those are really fun. And I think you guys will enjoy all those live streams. And I'm... Hoping to uh, do more of those in this year. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, like I said, subscribe, leave a like, join my group. Link will be down in the description. And lastly, grab the uh, Code Bro 29 shirt. It's a Roblox shirt. It's not real merch, but it, the link will also be in the description. Uh, thank you, Car Alarm, for going off right now while I'm recording a video. Uh, yeah, signing off for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.